welcome back viewers in the course so now without wasting time let's start uh, learning SEO from absolutely scratch because this is a complete and straightforward course and I will take you now to the process of SEO so in this section the first section of this course we will actually uh, learn about oral SEO and the oral website and the oral concept the basic concepts of SEO so after that we will go to the on page SEO section So this is the first topic we are discussing in this lecture and that will be about the website design the niche of the website the web hosting in the domain name and this kind of things because uh, this actually matters in SEO and expert says that SEO starts before your website so if you have not created a website yet uh, or if you are planning to create your website in the future or uh, a few days later so you can you should just keep these points uh, in mind and these are very important my brothers and sisters and one more thing if you have already created a website then you can just uh, you know modify or change or customize the website uh, according to these techniques and these tips so that will for perform better in search engines so let's talk about the topic that we have so things to note before starting a website the f four simple uh, you know note uh, notes I have uh, written here in front of you the first one select SEO friendly website theme or design this is very important and the 2015 SEO I mean the the, the current SEO uh, circumstances number two select website niche niche means topic or micro niche I will tell you the difference between niche and micro niche in a moment the third thing is the web hosting <coughs> select a 99.99% uh, uptime web hosting and the fourth thing is select a keyword based or branding domain name so these four points you should keep in mind <coughs> before creating your website or if you have created then uh, some of these uh, tips you can implement on your existing websites as well <coughs> what I mean by the first uh, example or the first point let's mean the website theme or website design really matters nowadays in SEO so you should uh, you know select a very good uh, SEO friendly uh, website theme and SEO friendly means what what kind of template or theme that's mean the template which has a really good structure for content I mean for links for uh, for content for images and you know a really good structure which I, I will just show you some real examples so that is called SEO friendly uh, website theme or design and nowadays it should also be responsive responsive means it should be uh, automatically adjusted in different devices such as mobile devices tablets and uh, desktops and different screens and the next thing is the website niche in topic this is also really matters in important in SEO so your website topic should be a clear topic about something about any uh, thing uh, it uh, can be on anything but it should be clearly you know uh, written on your website so the niche means topic so you can select a niche or micro niche micro niche a topic inside topic so I will also show you an example a real example and the web hosting also matters nowadays in SEO because if your website goes down for you know for for more time then it can affect your SEO ranking as well so select a web hosting which is 99.99 up and which has a very good reputation I mean the web hosting company this all things are really important man and if you are planning to create your website uh, in future or a few days later then you can select a keyword based or branding domain name do not select any other domain name because later on when you get some success uh, then you cannot change your domain name easily uh, because that will create some problems for you so just carefully select your domain name keyword based domain name uh, means uh, if the domain has a keyword which is basically the topic of your website as well 
in the in, in, in if you don't find a keyword based domain name then you can create a branding name I mean branding name means a short name which is easy to remember and easy to pronounce and you know uh, that also helps in SEO but you cannot create a, a name like a, a long name or something like that without uh, including the keyword because nowadays keyword based domain name are not easy to find so anyways now let's come uh, to practical so this is Google now the first thing I told you about uh, the website design <coughs> so the bad example of uh, you know the bad design example is something like this one you know this is a website template so this is not SEO friendly and this is not a good design in terms of SEO and Google and other search engines you know really encourage you to to just you know have a really nice and simple and user friendly design because you have to always think first about your users your customers your visitors and then uh, the SEO and search engines so you know there is no user uh, friendly design this one I'm talking about and this is also not SEO friendly neither user friendly nor SEO friendly why you can ask me the reason the reason is because there are many more ads and many more colors but the colors are okay but the ads you know you can see this is the ad that is the ad and this header also looks like an ad and you can see ads here just a little bit portion here is for the actual content which uh, for which search engines are looking so this you know the ads have just dominated the whole page and this is the one example of a bad design so you should not uh, be having a design like this the next example of a bad domain name is this one you can see the website with you know a lot of messy colors and a lot of different links and you know the the worst design example this one can be so this is worse because there is no content you cannot find in search engine will also not find any content any actual content all are you know just uh, text and you know colors and users when comes to visit this site they just get bored or just get get bubbled because you know the colors are not okay so now you might be thinking that what can be the example of a good design you know a better website design so I can show you my website and I am confident that my website design is a good and better website design this is on WordPress and WordPress is a very SEO friendly uh, platform uh, CMS and I will also uh, recommend you to use WordPress for getting better results from search engines so this design why I am saying that this is a good example uh, of design because when a user comes to visit this website for the first time they just cannot get bored they can see everything or transparent they can see that this is the they can easily see and clearly uh, find that this is the content area this one and this is the sidebar and these are the links which are going to some other pages and some other content and there is another menu for some official links so this is I mean a very good example of design clean template and if I just um, make it like small so it is automatically adjusted you can see here that's mean it is mobile friendly as well responsive so all the things which are needed for a good design it has now the next thing I was telling you about uh, the topic in the niche so basically if I search a keyword for example cricket uh, cricket news this is a keyword I just wrote in Google so here you can find many websites on this keyword so I can sh uh, just tell you about the niche in the micro niche in this uh, example uh, we got the first result the first website in the result is ASP and click and forward com let's open it uh, the next is also this ESPN this one is also this was a, this is another website click buzz and the next is BBC the next is Amari web uh, ICC cricket this is also about cricket but official website of ICC in the next one and the next one as well so we got you know around 10 results and we just opened some five websites 
so we come to the first uh, website which is ESPN Crick Info this is all in all about cricket the very popular and the big website for cricket so this is actually you can say a niche website as well as micro niche so there is no doubt in this now the next one this is crickboost.com which is also all about cricket you can see the content and everything that's fine nice looking so this is also a micro niche website but you can say this is a niche website and this is also a niche website a micro niche website in this case will be about a cricket player about a cricket instrument or about something which is very very specific inside a topic so this is niche website this is also niche website not micro niche night uh, uh, micro niche website will be about Tandolkar or Ricky Ponting or any cricket player or any specific thing so, uh, so the next website this one bbc.com which has also a specific section for cricket but this you cannot call this website a niche website and you cannot call this as micro niche this is actually a multi topic or multi niche website because this is news website it has uh, you know uh, cricket it has weather it has uh, you know sport it has news shop TV radios everything in the single website that's mean it is a multi niche or multi topic website so you cannot count this in niche or micro niche now the next one is hamariweb.com which you can see also has you know all the topics like videos images mobile classifieds ads islam and articles poetry and every single thing they have put it here so this is also multi topic website this is also multi topic you know yahoo.com and this is also multi topic because this is also a news website so basically i was telling you that uh, if something like the recce pointing or a player or an instrument or a specific field inside cricket uh, you know if someone has created a website on that that will be micro niche but this website is niche website so what what is the point for you here the point for you here is always if you can always select a micro niche because that will be specific and Google actually loves micro niche websites and they, uh, the micro niche websites actually get uh, ranking very easily and very quickly so if you are uh, comfortable with micro niche then create uh, on s uh, websites on micro niche and if not then you can create on niches as well but do not create website on multiple topics or multiple niches because that will be that will not be easy for you to rank uh, you can rank that as well but that will take uh, some time uh, because if you see this is multiple topic uh, website but this is bbc.com british broadcasting corporation which is a very big company they have you know uh, teams big teams for seo and this is yahoo these are big companies they have created multi topics but these are big companies so you cannot just you know push them back anyways now the third point was about web hosting so a, a website uh, I will just tell you that you can take uh, web hosting from bluehost.com or bluehost.com or hostgator.com or just search for best companies like uh, best web hosting companies you will find a lot of lists you know so you know a best company which has 99.99 percent .99 uptime uptime means when your website is running all the time day and night uh, seven days a week in you know uh, 12 months a year so that's mean your website will always be live sometimes you know they uh, go to maintenance the web hosting company so at that time your website uh, also goes down so the little you know maintenance is there that will be better for SEO and your site now in the last uh, thing which was about uh, domain names basically the branding domain domain names so if I go for I w if I go to a website host of UK domain registration so I go to a website for domain registration uh, now I want to uh, register a domain name for example I want to create a website because we are this is a complete SEO course so you will be you know you will be learning each and everything from absolutely starting so basically 
I want to search for a domain name. I want to create a website on uh, fashion, for example. So I will simply say, oh, fashion. Uh, uh, I mean, something like fashion. Villa dot com. Or fashion. Uh, you know, fashion. Venue. Fashion venue dot com. Just a name, because I want to create a website on fashion. So sorry fashion I got okay fashion venue I want to create a website on fashion uh, and I want to include the fashion inside the domain name so that is very better for SEO uh, we all know that I will now click check availability here I clicked and let me see uh, it's saying that uh, domain already taken now fashion venue.net is available fashion venue.org is available fashion venue.info information these are different domain name extensions or different TLDs so I can actually select any other so here I have a tip for you if, if .com is not available you can take .net there is no effect on SEO for this you can take .org as well uh, but note this co and busy tc because that will not be relevant uh, anyways if this name is not available in dot com and I still want to have a dot com so I can uh, add a dash here but only one dash you can add because if you added one more dash then that domain will not be appropriate for you and for uh, especially for users so one dash I can add here but if I don't find any domain name here like this one so I can actually create my own uh, brand name like I tech I teach like uh, online online uh, uh, tutoring for example this is my website so you know different kind of branding name which you want a company name or a branding name which is easy to remember but keep that up to two words not more than three words if a keyword uh, based domain name you have or you are selecting then you can add three keywords or three words domain name you can keep that if you want to add a keyword in that and it is possible to add keywords or you can find the domain name that uh, so you can uh, add three key uh, three words but in the branding uh, name I will uh, recommend you to only add two words so because uh, a person I can show you here uh, you know this person John uh, Chow.com. John Chow.com is a website, and this guy you can see in the on the screen. This guy is very popular guy, very popular blogger, and earning thousands of dollars from his blog and his uh, his writing on making money and blogging and you know SEO and all the things here on his blog. And, and his blog is on his name John Chow.com. This is very popular. Many bloggers know this person. I also know him. Uh, or last couple of years but this guy is, this guy himself has regretted that uh, this was his mistake that he created this blog on his name because he thought that he should have created this uh, with a branding name or with a different keyword based domain name so he would get you know much more success and much more visitors than uh, he has on his blog right now with his own name domain name I mean John Chow.com so there are many more examples of bad domain names so you guys should actually uh, be careful in this and just select your key uh, domain name your uh, a very nice theme uh, good web hosting and uh, topic if you can micro niche and if that is not a sweet for suited for you then go for niche so establish all the things and if you can then uh, host that on wordpress.org that is a very popular and SEO friendly platform so set up all these things so we are going in the next lecture so uh, going to straight start, start some work I mean some keyword research and other things uh, so we can properly set up a website I have set up a website already here you can see some initial content I have added some links and some articles and some other things and we'll also be 
adding more content uh, in real environment in practical environment and we'll, we'll be doing on page SEO as well uh, on separate articles uh, so you guys should also do this uh, and if you already have a website then implement my tips I have told you in this lecture now I will see you in the next lecture stay tuned